All right, so to clarify what we're doing here, currently there is no hitch receiver. When we get done, there should be a hitch receiver there. All right, we're gonna get started. And by we, I mean mostly Gene, but I'll be here present. We also have Raymond here with us. I'm gonna borrow on some of his expertise. I guess this stuff to come out. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Oh, I can do this. This is an easy part. Oh, good. I can just use my hand right here. Look, I did it. Remember, it's a Jeep. Don't look under it. You'll find out something else broken. So far, the install is going pretty good. Got a plane by here. Gene's got this on lockdown. I got Raymond here too. I'm a good hands. Gene's really good at letting me down. Not yet. We now have no bumper. That's how it's staying. OEM Mopar. So we're gonna take this piece out and we're replacing it with that one. So far so good. Oh, wait. Wait, pull it back out. Can I get the harness? Oh, the connector in there. Alright, so we ran into a couple snags. We need to get some bolts because they weren't included with the hitch to go right in here. So we're gonna have to run down the lows and get those. Uh, we also are gonna have to get creative with cutting out the template for the bumper bezel that we have right here, which shouldn't be too awful difficult. And uh, the wiring harness looks like it may not match up with what we have here on the Jeep itself. Because initially this did not have a tow package. But all that said, I think we'll make it work. You're doing a fantastic job. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. You're also doing a fantastic job. I am just getting in the way. So, I mean, I, I'm a spectator here. I don't know about that one. I was thinking about just blasting a hole through here with the torch so I could get my dugga dugga in there. No, let's just do stuff the right way. Looking good. Update on the trailer situation. We don't have proper wiring connections, so we are going to U-Haul to hopefully obtain the proper wiring harness. This repair has gotten pretty interesting. Yeah. All right, so for context, while picking up a wiring harness for the hitch install on the Renegade. Raymond's Jeep broke down. All right, so we're back at the shop. Raymond's gonna work on getting his sensor replaced. It ended up just being a minor issue, which is great. So now we're gonna go work on the Renegade. All right, we're back. We got the wiring. Trying to figure that out right now. Unfortunately, it does not work with the, the factory mount here. So we're gonna have to get creative. Once again, Gene, great job at letting me down. That joke never gets old. Filming me use this 1980s soldering iron. All right, so we got our line cut for the bezel. I'm about 90% confident that this is going to be cut the way it should be, but uh, not 100%. We're kind of eyeballing it here. Hopefully everything will line up. 
I got faith in you, Gene. That makes one of us. I oh, know, I think we might do that pretty good. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's pretty good. We might be a little bit off. I think that's time it goes the rest of the way in there. After this, I need to bolt it up on the bottom end. Yeah, no, that should be good. Okay, this has been quite the ordeal. We're doing the finishing touches. Getting the bezel on was a lot more complicated than we initially thought. We're applying some silicone to make sure that it stays secure. And uh, then we're going to seal it in. Put this thing back together. All right, bezel is in place. We're ready to go back on the Jeep. Bumper is going back on. All right, as you can see, the Renegade now has a factory OEM hitch receiver, which opens up a lot of options for us. Thanks to these two guys. I helped a little. <laughs>